internet, it's your old friend Dominic here with the All-American Casino Guide. Hey, when it comes to gambling, it's all fun and games until you run across that one person who's trying to swindle you out of all your hard-earned money. That's why we've put together a top five countdown of the biggest scams and rip-offs that you need to be on the lookout for and know how to avoid. Now, these are not games of chance that you would necessarily find in a reputable establishment like a casino, but we've included them in this list because, after all, they are games of chance, and they are things that you generally need to know about in order to avoid being scammed. So without further ado, let's get to the scams. Number five, the shell game. Our first entry in the list is a scam that goes by many names. Some people call it the old army game, others the cup and ball game, but it's pretty colloquially known as the shell game. This is usually a one man scam, but sometimes it involves a, an accomplice, and we'll get to that in a second. But typically what you're gonna see is a small table with three cups and one ball. They'll put the ball under one of the cups and then they'll entice you to make a wager. Once you've made your wager, they'll quickly shuffle the three cups around in plain view and then ask you which of the three cups you think the ball is under. At first, this might seem like a completely honest and fair game, but that is the deceptive nature of the scam. You might even see some people actually winning some money, but that's where that second accomplice comes into play that I was talking about earlier. You see, this person is a complete plant, and they already know which of the cups the ball is gonna be under. But I promise you, if you are not the accomplice and you put a wager down, they're going to be using sophisticated sleight of hand tricks in order to pawn the ball or quickly move it to another cup right after you've picked the right one. You will lose every single time. Unfortunately, this is a very common scam, and so my only recommendation for you if you run across it out and about is to pretty much turn around, walk the other way, and maybe call the police. If you feel extra brave, you might want to tell the audience uh, gathered around this game that it's all a scam. But do that with a bit of warning, because in my experience, these scam artists tend to get a little angry when you bring up the fact that this is a scam and you potentially cut off their revenue stream. So do that one at your own risk. It's worth noting there's a variant to this game known as Three Card Monty. It plays identically to the shell game, but the only big difference is that it replaces the cups or the shells with regular playing cards, and instead of looking for the ball or the pea, you're instead looking for a very specific suit that the dealer is going to announce before you actually place your wager. I assure you though, this is equally a scam, and so you should avoid it just like you avoid the shell game. Number four, fake online casinos. Now there's only one thing I hate more than fake fans, and that's fake online casinos. It's really important you do your research before using an online casino, and make sure that it's legitimate before you actually make a deposit. If you want, you can check out our website, theamericancasinoguide.com. We have vetted dozens of online casinos, and you can find one in your home state where you can guarantee that it's a legitimate website and not one of these fake online casinos you hear so much about. Now these online casinos that are fake could be doing anything as nefarious as just operating to take your money and uh, essentially give you nothing in return, or they could even be more sophisticated and just run really rigged games that are guaranteed to take your money in the long run. Now let's go ahead and run through a list of red flags that are clear indications that you're dealing with a fake online casino. My first piece of advice deals directly with licensing and certification. It's not a very good idea to gamble at a website that doesn't have this certification and licensing. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and look out for these certain uh, certifications and licenses. But just cause they're there, that's not enough evidence that you're not dealing with a fake online casino. Make sure to click on them and follow the links to make sure they actually work. My second piece of advice is read the reviews. A simple routine internet search will give you all the information you need. Just make sure to check out that they have a proven track history of paying out their players whenever those players actually do win. A lot of these fake online casinos uh, will let you play and play and deposit and deposit and will never actually pay you out if you actually win. My third piece of advice is to look out for how each online casino deals with deposits and payouts. Be on the lookout for anyone who deals with cryptocurrency or some sort of weird voucher system. That's a pretty clear indication that this is not a legitimate website and might even be a scam. My recommendation is to be on the lookout for normalized payment options like PayPal. 
My final tip is to stick with the names you know. If you see some sort of new player uh, bonus and it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So stick with the brands you know and do your research. Number three, fake lottery wins. Now this one might sound pretty obvious to some people, but based on the number of people who fall for it every year, I think it might be worth mentioning. This scam's pretty straightforward and simple. You're gonna be notified saying that you've won some large cash prize or some sort of really valuable object in some sort of sweepstakes. And they're gonna notify you via email, phone call, or even potentially traditional snail mail. These scammers like to pose as legitimate businesses and they're going to throw a lot of nice graphics, names, phone numbers at you in order to look legitimate. But it is a scam, I assure you. And where the scam part comes into play is once you contact them back and try to claim your prize. They're gonna tell you that there's some sort of transfer fee or processing fee that needs to be paid in order to claim whatever you've won. And once you've paid that to them, you will never hear from those people again. It's not that difficult to avoid this scam if you know what to look out for. The biggest red flag in my opinion is the fact that you've won a prize without buying a ticket or entering into the contest. If you don't remember buying a ticket or entering any sort of contest, you probably haven't won. The other big red flag is the amount of spelling errors in the actual email itself. Now most of these scammers live in non-English speaking countries, so it's not uncommon for them to make rather basic grammatical or spelling errors in the course of pulling off this scam. Another big issue is commonly you'll see them offering you prizes in a denomination of currency that you don't use in your own country. I received a notice the other day that I'd won a million British pounds in the Google lottery despite not entering and also not living in England. Number two. Rigged gambling games. So this one is pretty common in the second world or countries that with a lot of tourism. It's pretty popular in Southeast Asia. The scam works pretty simple. You're gonna be approached by a rather friendly fellow who after some friendly chit chat is gonna invite you to a friendly game of cards. Unfortunately, you're walking into a rigged game. Now when you walk in, you're probably gonna be greeted by everyone and everyone's gonna seem really nice and friendly. It's gonna seem like a fair game. They might even let you win a hand or two, but after a while, the friendliness is gonna slowly disappear and that friendly chat from earlier is going to be outright hostile and these guys they're going to use every cheating trick in the book they're going to use stacked decks marked cards bottom dealing double dealing probably even cards up their sleeves they're going to use every cheating method at their disposal in order to rob you of all your money and if that fails they'll just probably rob you mug you or even kidnap you a general rule of thumb is to only go to reputable establishments and to never go to a game with anybody you don't know personally. Number one, the old razzle dazzle. Now this game has a lot of similarities to the shell game, but it's a little harder to pick it out as an actual scam because it's cleverly disguised as a carnival game. So the scammers have an easier time of actually getting people to play. So here's how the scam works. There's a large board with a number of holes and each hole has a certain number of points associated with it. For a small nominal fee, typically a dollar, the scam artist will give you a handful of marbles and instruct you to roll them out into the playing field. And if you amass enough points, landing them in certain holes, as I said, each hole has a particular value, then you can trade these points in for some prizes. And some of these prizes are truly outrageous. They could be like a flat screen TV or a brand new iPod. iPod? Who the f has iPods? <laughs> brand new iPod? The hell you said? All right. Now there's typically also another hole which is large and typically positioned in a, in a spot where you are gonna land in about 10% of the time. And if you get your one of your marbles into this hole, you win a participation prize. And also the next round is going to have twice the entry fee. So it goes from $1 to $2, $2 to four, so on and so forth, in order to discourage you from playing the game any further and winning one of those fantastic prizes. Sometimes the actual game board can be very uh, ornate and intricate and it could be anything from like a football field to a soccer pitch and uh, the actual marbles themselves might even look like little soccer balls. The real scam in this whole game though comes in the dealer himself 
who is going to nefariously miscalculate how many points you've actually accumulated. They'll typically shortchange you on the points and they'll watch for your frustration because if they see that you're getting overly frustrated by your lack of progress, they might actually even throw you some points in the subsequent round to keep up this gambler's psychology. Mathematically, however, this game is not in your favor. Uh, the way it's set up and the way you're being scammed, you're typically going to have to play quite a few games before you can reach that top tier prize. And I do mean a lot. On average, it's like $5,000 to win one of those top tier prizes, and that's on average. It's the simple way this board is designed and the fact that the scammer is miscalculating your points that truly make this a deceptively effective scam. So that's all the swindles and tricks that we have for today. What did you guys think? If you have any swindles or tricks or scams that you know of, please leave them as a comment down below. If you liked this kind of video, make sure to click and clack that like button and pound that big red subscribe button if you haven't already, while ring-a-ding ding in that notification bell like it's Philadelphia on the 4th of July. <laughs> I don't know what the f I'm saying. My name's Dominic, this has been the All-America Casino Guide, wishing you luck and reminding you as always, play responsibly.